All right, now this is it for me. And uh, now this is the point I tell you why it's very important that I have these kind of guests in studio today. It's because tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is a big day in the health world, all right? It is the World Kidney Day, all right? If you did not know that, mark your calendar. Tomorrow is the World Kidneys Day. So you need to know why your kidney is important, where it's even located in your body. Do you even know? I know you all know where your stomach is, but do you know where your kidney is? Very important. So tomorrow is, as we celebrated the women on the 8th, tomorrow we celebrate this very important organ in our body and what comes with it and why people suffer certain, uh, you know, conditions and what you can do to survive through it if you're already, you know, ailing, all right? Now this is the point in time where I bring in my guests to your screen. All right, Karibuni Sana, in just about a bit, you will see them, you will meet them, you, they will talk to you, and you'll know why I have two gentlemen on set on a WCW show. <laughs> All right, some of you, when you, when you hear my name and you hear the show, you say, ah, oh, some beautiful ladies are coming on air. No, <laughs> we bring in the men as well, and you understand why the men and the women work together to make gender equity a reality. Let's just prepare you for this particular segment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, I don't want to talk too much. I want my expert and my, um, my friend and colleague and my dad, I would say that, because I am seeing he's a champion and he's here to talk to every young person who thinks it's the end of the world if you're going through an ailment on your kidney or in your kidney, all right? So on my far right, Dr. just good morning. Good morning. You probably want to introduce yourself one minute. Uh, my name is Dr. Jonathan Wala. I'm a physician and a kidney specialist. Uh, I deal with people with kidney diseases. I work uh, in my office at Aga Khan University Hospital, but, but also I'm a lecturer at the Kenyatta University. Thank you so much for creating time. Thank you so much for being here. And my immediate right, Karibu Sana. Unaeza ji introduce na Kiswahili pia. Yes. Kwa majina naitua John Dungu. Nimi ni mkojwa wa Figo. Mbae ni kuna mtume ya kakadhaa nikiwa mm -hmm. na shida hiyo na Mungu bado anisaidia na hapa nimefika ni Mungu mm. na furahi hata kuwa kwa hii studio siku ya leo ili tuongee hii safari ya kidini feria Asante, asante, asante sana. Kesho ni siku kuu kubwa sana for you know, you know kidney day na niliona leo watu wanafaa kuelewa ah Ikidni ni gani figo, eh? ni, ni kitu gani na inakuja madhara yake ni gani na oneza jikinga avipi, you know. So it's really important um, uh, John umekuja na najua it's been 19 years na ume survive. Umejua daktari, some people when they hear the CKD, it's like a death sentence. You know, it's a chronic like cancer and every other disease that really is life threatening. But really, let's just start with why is the kidney important? Because we want to talk about the kidney, you, in, you know, in the spirit of tomorrow. But why the kidney? Why is it so important in the body? Okay. Um, tomorrow, we mark the World Kidney Day, which mm -hmm. is marked every second Thursday of uh, March. Mm -hmm. This is to create awareness about kidney disease and create awareness about people who are living with kidney disease, like John here, and that they are truly champions. Um, it's only when the kidney is not working well that's when you realize its functions. Um, the kidney has got, uh, maybe I can summarize it as four functions. The first function is to remove waste products, which is what everybody knows. And it's like in your sewer line, if it's blocked, that's when you realize it's important. Other is just continue living your mm -hmm. life without knowing that it's so important. And uh, if these waste products are increased, then that's when you begin feeling sick, having uh, a lack of appetite, feeling like vomiting, etc. Mm -hmm. The second function of the kidney is to remove excess water. If you drink liquids, you have got some water coming in, the body takes what it needs, what is remaining comes out through urine. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if you don't have good kidney function, the excess water begins re being retained. Sometimes your legs swell, and then your face swells. Sometimes it goes to your lungs, and you can't breathe very properly and that is a second function of the kidney. The third function of the kidney is to produce an important hormone called erythropoietin that goes to the bone marrow and mm. makes the bone marrow make blood. 
for people with kidney disease, if it's advanced, they begin having anemia, which is decreased level of blood and the symptoms of anemia, tiredness, um, 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 not being able to, to, to do work properly, etc. Mm -hmm. And then the last function of the kidney is to ensure vitamin D is active enough to ensure that your bones are healthy by in, in making calcium and phosphate beat at the correct proportions. And therefore, if the kidney is not working well, in the advanced stages, people with kidney disease suffer from bone problems also. Wow. So basically, that's a summary of the kidney, uh, kidney uh, problems. Mm. The unfortunate thing is when the kidneys, um, by the time the kidneys stop working and the symptoms set in, usually the kidney function is uh, far, far advanced in its decrease. And therefore, it is important for people to have regular checkups early enough to pick up these mm. conditions early enough so that you can try and prevent it because always prevention is better than cure mm. and that's the reason for the World Kidney Day. Very, very detailed. Thank you so much, Dr. Chari. And I'm glad that you have given us, you know, uh, the four functions of it and what happens when it fails. So people have begun to know the symptoms. Now, uh, slowly you tell us what stage, at what stage we see what symptom. But I just want to go to um, Ndungu. Uh, John, is of you to Dr. Mesema Ulizipitia because it's been 19 years. You've had a transplant as well, uh, and right now you're hoping for another. So you have gone through this, you know, is of you to Dr. Mesema. You just want to share with us your story, Ako Kidogo, and how you managed. When did you get diagnosed? Uli, with those symptoms, Uli, Skiajo, Kajua, now, June, Sujui Kamuli, that ni malaria. Because this is to Dr. Yana Sema, nikama hata mimi ya kanuzetik and I can nice that ni malaria. Yeah, story yako ilikwaje. Okay, uh, story yako ni devu kidogo, sababu ni miaka katha. Mm. Uh, Mwanzo siku ana, anaerewa ni nini, sababu nilikuwa tu na isika malaria, na hivi, kutapika. Na nikaka sana bila kujua hata nikuwa na meda mosikitani mingi, hawajui ni nini. Wakati wa kukua na hizi nini center za kufanya check up ya mm. kini sana. Kwa hivu hata ukienda hospitali, uh, hawerei sasawa ni nini. Mm. Sababu hata nikuwa hata nimerazo hapa kiambu, hawa kujua niko na shida ya kini. Mbaka wakati ilifika, nikaanza kuumwa na hapa, unajua tinafikiria ka Figo iko hapa. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Kini iko hapa. Oh, Dr. It's, 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 it's not <laughs> where we think. Yeah. Some, somewhere I love. Uh, yeah. It's behind. Yeah. It's behind under the, under the ribs. Oh, under the ribs. Behind, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. So, ulisikia yeah. sama umivu uko nyuma. Uh-huh. Uh That's why kati nisikia hapo. Umivu, umivu kari. Hata sikuwa naweza kuinuka, kutapika. Tena ni kakibiso wa kiambu. Kupenu kwa kiambu wakasema ni epidemi. Mm-hmm wabati ya mungu, daktari wa kutawa hakuwa karibu. Nekabio ni goje. So walikuwa nda kuitua yu hapende. Eh, okay. Kufika usiku sa sita, hii uchungu ikaisha. Asubuhi ni kakuja hati nipereko wa dieta, ni kambio uchungu iisha. Na hiyo kitu ikianza kuuma, haiwachi. Mm -hmm. Sasa hapo diwa alianza kushuku kitu. Bado hakujua, kambio wa nitafanyo skan, Fatiro diyo ni tumwa kinyata. Ok. Kanyo skan. Diyo kurione kana kuna shida kwa kiri. Kutoka hapo, ni katumwa kwa daktari wa figo. Mm -hmm. Mbaya na ito Dr. Kahima ama Prof. Kahima. Mm -hmm. Huyo diyo hali chunguza na kaona kweri kuna shida. Ok. Na ilikuwa mwisho sababu nilianza adari za imediatri. Sasa po diyo stress ilianza. Sababu sasa hii ni kitu wapaye tulikuwa na sikia mtu wakiwa cheka figo. Umeenda. Mm, mm. Sasa hata ni ikuwa ni mianza kupanga watu yangu. Ok. Kawambia sasa. <laughs> <laughs> e, kiona hii meanza. Sasa siku zangu naonekana sio nyingi kwa hivyo watu wajipange. Sasa ilikuwa stage in, il, ulipatikana kama yu stage naenda. Daktari ikini also has stages? Uh, kidney failure stages. So yu stage ya joni ilikuwa gani? Stage ya mwisho ambayo ni stage 5. He was at stage five. Yeah. Okay. Sasa, bado ni kaenderea. Na mashida mingi. Pesa, nini. Mbaka ikafika mahali. Hile kitu ni kuwa nae yote ikaisha. Akaunti yangu ikaisha pesa. Kila kitu ni kuwa nae ni kauza. 
kaanza kufanya harambe. Nafanya harambe kadhaa. Mm. Nafanya harambe nataka 2.2 niende hivi kwa transplant. Aha, transplant. Tunafanya harambe napata 500. 500 tunaanza kuenda na dialysis tena. Kufika kufanya ingine imeisha ile. Mpaka siku moja tuka tukaita watu tini committee tukapika kachai hapo na bibi yangu watu watakuja kuna mm. mtu alikuja tulikunywa hiki mzima hiyo kachai sababu <laughs> watu walichoka okay eh. mm. sasa tukaendelea tu tukaendelea tukafika mahali tukasema mm. tutafanya harambe tena sasa mm-hmm. kama bibi yangu kama ni kwenda nimekubali sasa hapo tutakanyagia tu hapo kama ni kwenda tutakubali hiyo yeah. ni harambe ya kwanza hapana eh, ni kwa aine sasa hiyo ni ya nne sasa yeah. umesema sasa tumejaribu watu pia wamechoka kukuja yeah. shikilia hapo let me go back to daktari daktari from what i'm hearing <coughs> kidney treatment if you get to the ckd now the chronic it can be really really expensive <coughs> But before we get there, what are the stages? Because he, he has shared with us, he was found at stage five. He was found at stage they thought it's appendix, they almost did a surgery. So, malaria, you know, at the beginning and all, before the pain. Which are these stages? Um, the stages of kidney disease are divided into five. Mm-hmm. Um, from the first stage, which is stage one up to five. And this is based on the kidney function. Okay. It's based on a calculation called GFR, glomerular filtration rate. Basically, you can translate into a percentage. So, oh. more than 90% is uh, normal kidney function. But if you have a, um, some um, uh, problem with the kidney, we'll say it's called that stage one. 60 to 90% stage two. 30 to 60% stage three. That is moderate kidney disease. Mm. And then severe kidney disease is between 15 and 30% of your kidney function. So, the kidney is working only 15 to 30%. Mm. That is severe. The symptoms become more and more as you get into severe kidney disease, mm. and then if it drops below 15%, then you have kidney failure, when all the full-blown symptoms begin setting in at stage five, and that is when you need to replace your kidney function either by dialysis or kidney transplant mm-hmm. in order to maintain uh, health and prevent death. Maintain health, prevent death. Is it curable? Well, these stages that we are talking about are for what you call chronic kidney disease. Yes. Um, this is an irreversible damage to the kidney. Irreversible. It's, yeah, it's more like you have you have gotten an, a wound in your skin, uh. and then it heals. When it heals, it heals with a scar. You cannot okay. go to a doctor and tell them, "Please give me something to make this scar become normal skin." Mm. So the same way, the kidney is getting injured over several months to years, causing sc- many scars in the kidney. So although the kidney looks like it's there, but it's not doing the function, and therefore the um, condition is irreversible. Wow, so that I know is disheartening that it is irreversible. Therefore, the only option like John had was to do the transplant. Because the dialysis just maintains you for a... Con- the da- dialysis just keeps you in shape, stability? Yeah, yeah basically the dialysis is to re- remove the waste products and uh-huh. remove the water, those two functions of the kidney, to sustain your health um, and prevent death. But mm. it does that in a sort of a, a, a less than a good way because it's quite poor okay. in doing that. And therefore... You are barely able to survive with the dialysis. The ultimate goal is to re- get a, a new kidney and do a kidney transplant. Wow, all right. And it is expensive because I'm yes. hearing John here did harambes, mm. almost four or five. Yes, it is expensive. Um, uh, maybe in the tune of roughly maybe around two million shillings in most centers. Wow. Um, happily, the NHIF has come in on board in a, in okay. a way in that yeah. they, are, they sponsor 500,000 shillings of that for most uh, of the NHIF um, contributors. Um, John's case, she started way back when the NHIF mm. was, uh, was, um, was, was not covering for dialysis, and oh therefore they okay. had to pay out of their own pocket, maybe between 7,000 and 10,000 shillings every time they come for dialysis. That's twice a week, mm, twice or a three week. times a week for the rest of his life. Uh, you wow. can imagine the cost. That's why yes. he says he was uh, um, 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 having a rambez, raises money for transplant, but then since he's not got enough, he has to continue dialysis, therefore he ends up using that money and then he gets again and again. So it's good that the NHF also came in and uh, has been supporting dialysis now almost for a decade with paying the, the, the cost for the dialysis and that's mm. very good. Um, obviously it's our appeal as kidney specialists that if they could support the whole amount mm-hmm. of, of kidney transplant, then it will en- encourage more 
people to leave dialysis and be on transplant because just being on dialysis is um, um, a difficult part for the patient, but mm. it's, it's also not sustainable in the public health perspective. It's too expensive. So insightful. Thank you so much. I know if you're watching this morning, you're getting the details, what Dr. Tari is saying and what John is also saying very, very importantly. Now, John uh, is here, and that's why we're saying he's a hero. Because you're talking about dialysis, it's just escaping death, and he did his first transplant. Now, to look at Meshikili Apo Kwa Harambe Atano. And uh, this time, I think, was it a brother of yours? Somebody gave you a kidney. Yes, this is Tuambio's story, because as, as it stands right now, Bado, you are still dealing with this uh, yeah. kidney disease. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, sasa wakati ndi tuliongea yu na bibi yangu, nikuambia sasa nimekubari hata kama ni kuenda, sasa wa. Tukaendira tuna shida ya kufanya dialysis, dialysis. Lakini dugu yangu walikuwa mesema atanipea mm. figo. Kwa na kwenye nyubani ya kambia mama, bia dungu, akipata pesa, mita mpea figo. Mwini, tukakatu sasa, sasa, sina pesa, unajua sasa kama una pesa, una la kufanya. Lakini kwa pati ya mungu, uh, kuna mse moja nisaidia mimi. Alikuwa naitua Stano Rigedhungori, alikuwa mm -hmm. NP wukwetu kiamba. Huyo diwa nisaidia, kanilipia kila kitu. Nikafanyua transplant. Na nikafurahia sababu kama umefanya transplant. Ukiwa mepitia shida ya figo, unasikia kama umezaruwa tena. Mm -hmm. Na kini, kuna shida ingine, sababu hata ukifanya transplant, kuna shida ya dawa. Mm -hmm. Nazo dawa ni beigari kabisa. Nazima tena hapo, ujika kamwe. Na hapo tena inakuwaka shida. Samani ulikuwa naambia watu ya ni muojwa. Mm. Sasa wameona umepona. Umepona transplant, umepona. umepona. Ama daktari, how is it? <laughs> Alafu sasa, ukuja kuwabia watu, nataka munisaidia tena. Watu ya naona, ayu kuweli ya mezo ya kuchazea sisi. Mm, okay. Sasa hapo tena diyo inakuwaka shida kabisa. Na hapo diyo ni ingekuwa na uliza hata kama NHIF kama wanasaidia watu na hiyo 500 wa kifanya transplant dawa wa dawa dio main sababu harabi unasafanya na ufanya transplant mm. lakini dawa hiyo dio shida mm -hmm. na watu wakiona umesha kutepea vizuri sasa wewe di dialysis wanaona umerudi mtu akawaida kwa hivyo hakuna usaidizi unataka mm. Sasa hapo diyo mtu wanaumia kabisa. Sababu okay. dawa ni beigari. Na hiyo dawa ni kitu wabaye haitakiwi ukose ata dakika moja. Iku una, una mesa hizo dawa saa ambiri ya subui, inatakiwi umesa tena saa ambiri jioni. Na usipesa ta, saa tatu. Mm -hmm. Inatakiwa hiyo. Ikiwa ni saa ambiri, ni saa ambiri. Na, na dungo, wewe venyo huku zipata, imekweka at what state sa hii? Uh, wakati nili kuwa na zitumia, kuna wakati nili, nikuwa na hera na kosa. Mm. Na hiyo diyo shida moja hata ya kufanya hiyo kidini yangu ifail. Mm -hmm. This new one sasa? Ya. Yeah. Yeah, brother, hiyo yeah. figo lipo ya pili eh, tena ifail? Eh, ifail. Eh, okay. ifail. Na ifail sababu ya hiyo shida ya dawa. Okay. Kwa sababu, unaenda kutafuta pesa, lakini pesa unapata itoshi, itoshi dawa. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo, hiyo diyo serikali ikiangalia sana mtu amefanyiwa transplant uh, saidiwa na madawa ili hiyo kidin ikae sababu right. ikikawi mtu atakufanya kazi vizuri atakuwa mzuri na hii maneno ya dialysis ta, tatoka hii dialysis ni kitu tu ya kusukua mtu akufe pole pole si ati ni kitu ina <laughs> Fanya nini? Do you watch any other doctor? Doctor, I have checked your manner. Doctor is is saying, Doctor, what is your opinion about that? I have said that you go for pole pole, to which you already said you 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 encourage people to go for the transplant. Now, Apo Kwada, we've we've of course mentioned, but now I know that you've mentioned NHIF coming in, but very importantly, I want us to talk about the Kenya Renal Association. Yeah, you want to mention about it, or what are they doing? What is it about? How can people join? Because the people who are suffering, a lot of them suffering. CKD right now. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> Kenya Renal Association is a professional organization mm. um, involving um, uh, um, uh, people with interest in kidney uh, disease and these are usually professionals either as individuals or as organizations. Uh, um, the pro 
professions mainly are kidney specialists and then uh, the nurse specialists who are, who are specialized in kidney disease. Mm. But also we've invited many other people of different professions mm -hmm. to, and so to come in because it's a team work. Uh, mm -hmm. And the goal is to sensitize people about kidney disease and to improve the kidney care in Kenya. And um, we also play a, a big advocacy role in advo um, um, asking the government and the government um, um, uh, affiliated organizations to try and support patients with kidney disease. Mm. One of our, um, um, our main interaction is with the Ministry of Health. We have, we have uh, managed to set different guidelines and also to push some aspects of kidney care in the um, uh, health bill that was Which passed before. Yeah. Uh, we are actually at the moment lobbying hard with NHIF about all these things that John has talked about. Okay. The um, uh, financing of kidney disease is expensive the whole world. And therefore, that's a reality you have to go uh, in. But it is known that the cheapest option is a kidney transplant. All right. Kidney as much as it looks expensive. A kidney transplant is like buying a house. Okay. The dialysis, oh, it's an dialysis is like, is, uh, is like uh, renting the house. Renting the house. So if you're renting the house right now, please uh, listen to Dr. and John here. And they're saying the better option is to get to buy that house. All right, Dr. Terry, as we close, uh, the reason why we're here today is just to remind people about tomorrow. Something is going down <coughs> at Kempinski tomorrow. Just talk about the event, and of course, we remind people about the awareness uh, that we are creating tomorrow as well. Um, the event will be hosted by Kenya Renew Association to mark the World Kidney Day, and it will be still the focus of the theme of this year is living well with kidney disease. Okay. And uh, based on eight points, and we'll be sensitizing people about this. There'll be screening going on at that during that event. It's not the only place. There are many centers in uh, in in Kenya, mm -hmm. mainly in the county referral hospitals, some private organizations where they're also having um, World Kidney Day celebrations. Mm -hmm. We are celebrating our patients, but also we are encouraging people to come forward to be screened, mm -hmm. especially a urine test, a blood pressure check, and a blood sugar check to ensure that they don't have risk factors for getting kidney disease. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we'd be encouraging them to live well, healthy diet, a uh, healthy lifestyle, a low salt diet, mm -hmm. uh, avoiding over the counter uh, painkillers unnecessarily, okay. and uh, and uh, and uh, having these regular checkups maybe at least annually to ensure, especially if you are middle aged or elderly, to ensure that we pick kidney disease mm. early enough to prevent them. If they are there, we try to um, 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 uh, protect the kidney function from getting worse. Mm. And if the kidney function has already gone into kidney failure, then to to look for options of replacing this kidney function mm -hmm. by dialysis, but the best will be the kidney transplant. So that's what's going to go on tomorrow, mm -hmm. plus many other centers in but not only in Nairobi County, but different counties. So whoever is watching from whichever county you're watching from, please start doing your research and figure out where the center will be tomorrow. I am personally taking the initiative to find myself there to get me, me screened, you know? <laughs> I need to do that screen test. And if you're watching today, it's very important. Uh, Dr. Ari, thank you for that. I don't know if you have, you really, what you have said feels like your last remarks. Mm -hmm. It's like you've encouraged them to do what they have to do and yes. live healthy. Live healthy. With even if you have the kidney disease. Even if you have kidney disease. Thank you so much. And I'm seeing John, John up and I could celebrate because John here is living with it. And he looks strong to me. So um, you know your 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 final yeah, your last remarks to kifunga issue. Wale wanya wana wana pitek to na pitia. Na kwanini kesho ni siku kubwa na you you're at your age, you know almost sixty. Na badu na ngana. What what is the last thing you can tell people? Uh, kwa ngu na isa mbia wale watu wako na shida ya figo mm. ugojo wa figo siyo mwisho uh, na mtu wa kigojeka sana sana mtu wa si kai hapo chini na kichungulia watu wa kuja msaidia sababu hakuna mtu ya bae hana mamba yake anafanya na hiyo diyo kitu kwanza kutaka tu one kane ya tiwe mgojo wako tu wakua ne huruma hiyo ni shida kubwa sana Na tena ujikubari mm. vile uko. Na ujue mungu wako na hata kusaidia. Tena, fuata maagizo ya daktari. Fuata maagizo ya daktari. Okay. Vile umeambio ufanya, ufanya. Vile umeambio ukule, ukule. Na kifuata hiyo, utaenderea. Sababu, aina nini, kukujikubari ni odawe ya kwanza. Matibabu ya kwanza ni we mwenyewe. Mm. Kubari. Okay. Na utaenda vizu. Yo ingine, ni kwa daktari. Okay. 
watu huko kwa kijiji hawajui maneno ya fiko mko na chama ningeoba tu mwe mu kifikishia watu information huko katika vijiji ndio wajue sababu watu wengine hata hata wengine hata saa hii wanafikiria ati mtu akikojeka ugojo wa figo amerogwa mm. sababu hawajui hawana information mm. sababu mimi mko na nguvu ya kuweza kufikia watu tegenezeni hata nini man medical camp huko vijijini mjeni hata kwa makanisa hata ukija kwa kanisa letu nitakupea nafasi Asante. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, asante yeah. sana kwa kuja hapa. Karibu. Furahia na watu kesho, watu wajitokeze wapimwe. Na hata wacha kesho peke yake. Over At, and over and over. Watu watebere madaktari. Madaktari yeah. zuwa baya ni marafiki wazuri. Hata wamekaa hapa si daktari uh, amekaa hapa kama uh, rafiki yetu. Watebere <laughs> madaktari wa waangaliwe. Na hata yeah. ukienda kwa daktari Wara na una pesa. Mwambie mimi uko na shida. Sina pesa lakini nataka tusaidie. Si si mali na umwa nataka tu nijue kama niko sawa hata kusaidia sawa Waibu, sawa watu wa, wa wajitokeze eh, asante okay. sana john kwa kukuja and to share your story and kuongea na daktari on behalf of wale wanaopitia au tunapitia daktari thank you so much for creating time and for, of course for representing the association and in a big way fighting for people and your patients it is called the patient centered approach thank you so much for coming and we're looking forward to you looking up at where the center will be tomorrow as we mark that very important world kidney day tomorrow give me your feedback on 0739 one one zero five double four next wednesday i'll come with my results as well yes we are not stigmatizing anybody so guys thank you for watching uh, this particular um you know uh, segment but we're coming back with two amazing ladies that we're celebrating and remember as i take this break the hashtag is what are you choosing to challenge yeah i'm choosing to challenge a certain stereotype what are you challenging good morning we'll be right back